Return Merchandise Authorizations, or RMAs, in SAP Business One can be easily processed using a combination of service calls and return documents in your system. Doing so will give you greater visibility of the item that is returned. On the actual return documents in the system, you can specify the exact reason why the item was returned and any additional issues that may be present with the returned item. This video will provide examples of returns that require a repair. If you are not issuing a repair, then you can avoid creating a service call. Let's begin by navigating to Service, Service Call to create a service call for the returned item. On the Service Call screen, you can enter in the business partner code for the customer that is returning the product. This will automatically display any additional information that is related to the customer. Next, you can enter in either the manufacturer serial number or serial number to bring in the correct item that is being returned. After you update all the necessary information in the service call screen and add the service call, you can select the related documents tab to link the return documents to the service call. You will be able to add new documents to the service call by selecting the details button at the bottom. This will display the service call related documents details screen which gives you a more detailed overview of how all the documents that are assigned to the service call affect the item that is being returned. To add a new document to the screen, simply select the New Document button to link a new document to the service call. This will display the Document Type Selection window. Since we are dealing with a customer return, we will select the Return Request option to create a new return request. After you select OK, a new return request with the customer's information will appear. If the delivery document is still open, you can copy from the previously created delivery document. Otherwise, you can copy from the AR invoice. In the Draw Document Wizard, you can adjust the settings accordingly if you are dealing with exchange rates and click Finish at the bottom. This will automatically copy the item information from the delivery over to the return request there are two fields on the return request that pertain to why the item is being returned. The Return Reason field is where you can select a reason as to why the item is being returned. The Return Action field is where you can specify what action will be taken for the returned item. With the item added to the return request and the additional information updated, you can now proceed to add the document. Now that the return request has been added, you can update the service call related documents detail screen and then update the service call to save the newly created document to the related documents tab on the service call. The return request does not have any financial transactions or physical movement of inventory associated with the document. The return document is what creates the financial transactions and physical movement of inventory in your system. In order to create the return document, you can either copy the return request to a return or copy the return from the return request. If you would like the return document to be linked to the service call, you will need to go through the process of clicking the details button on the service call screen. Then on the service call related documents detail screen, select new document. This time, instead of return request, we will select returns and click OK. On the return document, just like with the return request, the customer information will populate automatically. Select the Copy From button and select Return Request to copy the item information from the return request. Two additional fields on the return document that do not appear on the return request are the Enable Setting Cost checkbox and the Return Cost field. The Enable Setting Cost checkbox, when checked, will allow you to set the return cost of the item. This checkbox can only be checked when you are not copying the return from any document and if you have the Allow Setting Item Cost When Document Is Not Based option checked in the Document Settings for Returns. The Return Cost field is where you can enter in an item cost for the item being returned. This field will only be active when the Enable Setting Cost checkbox is checked. If you need to modify the return action or reason, you can do so prior to adding the document. With all the information entered for the return, you can proceed to add the return document. Now if we go back and refresh the service call, we will see the new return document that was previously added. When we click on details, 
there will now be a quantity in the return column for the item since the return document has been added. You will also notice on the relationship map for any of the return documents that both the return request and return will now be linked to the service call. The RMA functionality in SAP Business One is a great way to process and keep track of items being returned to your company. Join us as we help you learn more about what SAP Business One has to offer by clicking the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you never miss a new video. As an SAP Gold Partner, LBSI can help you take full advantage of everything the system has to offer. To get in contact with us, visit our website at www.lbsi.com and navigate to the contact link. You can also email us at sales at lbsi.com for sales related inquiries or SAP support at lbsi.com if you're an existing client in need of support assistance.